You wanna see something cool? Miracle! Pocket Monster, the series, XYZ, no character, Bonsuke, if you. Hajimario! Hi everyone! Also known as Tokyo, depending on where you see it. Hey everyone, this is Overgot to Phoenix. Introduce myself. I am Xiao Mei. I am the narrator of the story you're hearing. But you already know me. Greetings everyone, I'm Aria, and in this video we're going to explain who I am. Let's have some fun, shall we? Performing a pathway to the future! Aria is a fair-skinned girl with long strawberry pink colored hair, scarlet eyes, and very white hips. Occasionally, she wears light coral paint lipstick or lip gloss like Melissa Shields' formal prom dress from My Hero Academia to Heroes and mascara that's clearly in invisible. And her most defining characteristic is her warm-hearted, cheery smile. During the Master Class tournament, Aria wore a mainly white dress with yellow sides and a dark blue upside-down heart. And she wears a dark blue miniskirt, the Nifa, and she has a gold necklace with a cross as its symbol, along with medium-length white gloves. She wears light gray socks, which go above her knees, and medium-length white boots with heels that match her outfit. Before being crowned Kalos Queen, Arya was mentored by Palermo. It was revealed in party dance capades that the two have a close relationship, with Arya calling Palermo her master. And the two keep in touch and talk about promising and talented performers. Arya started off as a trainer and chose Benekin to be her starter Pokemon at Lumio City in Professor Sigamore's laboratory. During her journey, she started making videos on Pokevision with her partner, earning more and more popularity. Sometime later, she was trained under Palermo's tutelage to become a performer. One day she failed in her training and injured or sprained her ankle, just like Harriet, when she was teaching Miranda on being a prima ballerina in an episode of Go Princess Pretty Cure. Way to go! Did you see that? Stop! <laughs> what on earth were you thinking? Oh, no, not again! Let me see it. It's just a sprain. I don't want to stop till it's over! Palermo visited her, and Arya claimed that she would not give up until everything was over. After becoming Kalos Queen by winning the Masterclass, Arya also continued to make some Pokevision videos, inspiring Serena to do the same. According to Pokepedia, she appeared disguised as Ariana to get away from the press. Noticing Serena depressed, she had a conversation with her and asked Serena if she wanted to shop with her because she was always busy being Kalos Queen and wanting some time off. Serena was uncertain, but she agreed, not knowing who Ariana really was. After some shopping, Serena admitted that she was depressed because she yelled at her Pokemon for the bad performance since they had failed to win the previous showcase. Ariana claimed that Serena has to share her smiles as a performer. To prove that, she challenged Serena to a tag battle, sending out her Delphox and Aromatissi against Serena's Pokemon Fennec and Pancham. During their battle, Aromatissi used defensive moves, allowing Delphox to attack Pancham and Fennec. Pancham tried to valiantly protect Fennec against Delphox's attacks, causing Serena's Fennec to evolve into Breaksin. 
But just as they were about to finish the battle, Ariana got a phone call saying that she had to be somewhere urgent. Ariana had to call her Pokemon back and leaving knowing that, as the Kawas Queen, she must have been very busy with her Pokemon showcase. Later on, Serena sat down and watched her Pokevision, seeing who Ariana really was. During the Masterclass Tournament's opening, Aria came to the stage, welcoming the public and performers to the tournament, and Aria wished everyone to have a great time and winked towards Serena, who walked away to watch the performances. Since the winner would face Aria and challenge her Kalos Queen title, and Aria came to the stage with Serena. After Serena's performance is over, Aria started her own, having Viviloin and Delphox collide with their attacks that dazzled the audience. Aria's aromaticity lifted her into the air while Viviloin flew around the stage with her. And Serena noticed Aria's smile gave everyone strength, and after her performance is over, the audience voted Aria as the Kalos Queen and she retained her title. And after Monsieur Pierre's cleft key placed a tiara on her head, Aria turned to Serena seeing how fun it was, while Serena promised to train more and face Aria once more. Together with their Pokemon, Aria and Serena waved to the audience. And there you have it! It's also revealed that Aria might have been supporting Ash and the others during the Team Flare takeover, because when Ash lost to Alan in the Kalos League Finals, the entire world was sad over Ash's expectations to go down the drain. And what's worse is Team Flare's plan has struck the Kalos region as Lysander unleashed, vine, unleashed vines in Lumio City. Team Flare runs through in toxic gas containers holding Zygarde chemicals in the anime-only locations, Pokemon centers, causing the electricity to go out. And people have died inside the centers, and if people escape, Team Flare runs shot them down. Arya witnessed many showcase performers escaping, but Team Flare Grunts conducted a sweep, causing them all to die instantly. But as Ash, Alan, and the others had fought Team Flare, she was there during the parade of the victory. Look out, here we come! Arya's persona! Aria's character can be described as joyful, energetic, and cheerful. And when she performs, she strives to make people watching her smile. And she knows how to motivate and inspire people, and these personality traits with her performing skills led her to success in Pokemon showcases, which are in anime only. Aria is humble and kind, despite being the Kalos Queen, even going as far as to the skies to avoid media attention. Despite this, she also wants to see people smile when performers show off their skills and helps them when the need arises. When she wants to settle their mind, Aria often goes shopping for new clothes, and she also has taken a strong interest to Serena, always checking on her, believing that she might become her successor in the future as Kala's Queen, and as revealed in the past, when Aria was injured with a sprain in, during ballet class during the Master Class Finals, she didn't want to leave and give up, hinting that she has confidence in her heart as well. And there you have it! Now you all know why I became the way I am. And before I go, while Serena is with May Max and contest idol Lysia, me and Palermo actually did see her traveling companion Ash Ketchum in the Masters 8 tournament and he officially beat Leon. I told Serena, May, Max, and Lysia about it and they were so happy too. Congratulations Ash Ketchum. You are the very best. Like no one ever was and you're the monarch of the world. Good to see you! Meme! Approved! Play!